Hi guys, welcome back to uh, my video channel here. What do we have here today to share? Well, this is a uh, two-channel, 30-watt per channel stereo Class A amplifier. And um, I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to also show you how you take it and modify it so that you can put it in this LMB box. And if you notice, it has just one volume control. It's actually two volume controls, left and right channel, gang together. But uh, we can separate those two <clears throat> and put them in this box and make some other arrangements for to make this more adaptable to a lab bench amplifier. So um, let's get started with the video here. Let's just uh, maybe demonstrate a little bit of how it sounds. You're probably not going to get a real good feeling for it. Just a little bit of a sound here. It's not going to come through too good from uh, my camera's audio is not that good. So um, again, this is I bought this from uh, a outfit in China, and um, I wanted to use it for lab bench testing of radios. Uh, not high fidelity because it does not have a lot of low frequency bass in it, um, which is undesirable for me because I'm using it for shortwave radios and ham radios. But uh, this may be of interest to you. It's about six or seven dollars. Very well made. Nice heat sink on it. Class A. It's going to dissipate some heat. And there's the top of it. You see two filter capacitors on the left side is 12 volts AC supply. Um, and you can see that it's center tap. You need a center tap transformer, output transformer. On the other side is your channel A, channel B, or left channel, right channel speaker outputs for 8 ohm speakers. So nice, nice little device. It has a TDA 1521 power amplifier. And uh, right here is your left and right channel input. It's also a little plug here you can use left and right channel for the input if you desire to hook the connector up to it. Um, so let's take a look at what it looks like inside. Here we go. And you can see I added the power transformer. There's a yellow fuse holder. Um, there's the wiring to add the second potentiometer. Or actually add the both potentiometers. In the front, we have a um, switch in the middle. Now what's that switch do? It says channel A, A1, A2. Well, that's so that we can only use this channel instead of this channel to do testing, A and B testing of different sources of equipment. For instance, over here I have these two uh, surplus radios, uh, BC348s. Take both outputs and you plug them in right into the inputs here. And you can switch them back and forth. And what you're doing is you're using the same audio chain, mainly this one right here, the A channel, to switch back and forth into a common speaker. That way you get a good A and B relationship in the, how the audio sounds and how the signal sounds coming over these shortwave radios. We have a little speaker terminal strip, channel A, channel B, on and off switch, and power cord right here. And of course I added a little on and off LED light in the front. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you choose to purchase this, you'll find it uh, online and eBay. And I'll give you a few specs below if you want to take a look. So please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you will. Thanks again. Goodbye for now.